and welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea and in today's video I'm going to be attempting to create a TikTok inspired aesthetic home screen for my iPhone using the new iOS 14. From what I've seen of this update so far it looks like you can add widgets to your home screen for things like the weather or the time and it looks like there's also a lot of customization for colors and fonts. The place I've seen people mostly talking about this is on TikTok, which is where I went to find all the tips and tricks, and I watched lots of tutorials, so I'm going to be attempting to implement all the tips I saw on TikTok into my own home screen. I'll show you what my phone currently looks like before the update. This is my home screen. I have all of my apps in folders sorted into different categories. Then on the next page, I have more miscellaneous apps that I don't use as often. Okay, it finally updated. So let's take a look at what's different. So for the home screen, it looks exactly the same. If I swipe to the right, it leads me to this app library. It looks like it has sorted it into folders that it thinks the apps belong to. Most people on TikTok were saying the main two apps you need to download to get the full effect of customization is Widgetsmith and Color Widgets. I'm going to open up the Widgetsmith app and see what we can do. What I saw most people on TikTok starting with was the calendar widget. I'm going to go back to the home page and if you hold down and click on edit home screen and there's a plus screen at the top of the page here so I'm going to click that and then scroll down click on widget smith add widget okay there's the calendar but I'm not seeing where to customize it okay I went back into the widget smith app and I'm going to click on medium number one and then click on default widget and it takes me to all these different settings to choose from I'm going to go with New York and then tint color. Let's check background color first. Oh, I like this one or this one. Pale pink or pastel pink. If we click on tint, then we can see what the fonts look like on the pink background. You know what? We'll try the white and the pink and see what it looks like when it's on the home screen there. We'll go back to edit plus. How do I get that pink one on there? Oh, this is saying medium number two, but I edited medium number one. Let's click on this and then click on medium number one. Okay, what if we rename it? Then maybe it'll be easier. Click on rename, pink calendar, save. Go. Oh, it changed, it worked. I don't know what happened, but okay, great. Oh, I'm gonna change the background picture. Okay, it's kind of like a minty green with white hearts. I'm going back into Widget Smith to see what kind of other widgets they have available here. So maybe we'll all try to get weather. So I'll click on medium number two. Click on default widget. Okay, if you scroll down, you can choose photo, photos and album, custom text, blank, calendar, reminders, weather. So I want the weather. I don't know why there's a little lock on there. Subscribe! So it looks like you're not allowed to know what the weather is unless you pay. The other app I saw coming up on TikTok a lot was Color Widget. So I'm going to download that and see if it has more options. Ooh, these are cute. Okay. Uh, okay, let's try clicking on first one here. I kind of like the Widgetsmith calendar better than this color widgets one because the green battery symbol in the corner there it's a little off-putting for me. Now I have the calendar on my home screen here so I'm going to hold down on the screen, click on the plus button, all the different Apple widgets come up. So you've got weather, photos, podcasts, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to click on weather. I'm going to go with the small one for now. So add widget and then just hold down on that to move it to the this page. I kind of wish you could change the color of that. The next thing I've seen a lot of people doing on TikTok is adding a photo to their home screen using the widgets. So we'll go to the Widgetsmith app and then add a new small widget. Click on default widget. Scroll down to photos in album. 
and it selected favorites already and I favorited the photo that I wanted in here so I'll just leave it at that and then the latest photo pops up in the little box here which is a photo I made in Canva that just has a light pink background and the word breathe in script lettering now I'll go back to the home screen hold down click on the plus button in the corner then scroll down to widget smith click add widget and then tap on there and tap on small number one and I'll change it to number two because that's the widget that we edited to have the photo and then go back and it should change to the photo is it going to change no guys it says right there small number two breathe there Saturday 19 why okay if I hold down on this widget edit it says number two but it's showing number one why what if I just straight up delete widget number one? Hey, that worked! I don't know why that worked, but it did. And we have the photo here now. So I'm going to move this to the front page. The next thing I'm going to tackle is attempting to get the super cute aesthetic app icons that everybody has on their home screen. I watched so many tutorials on TikTok for this, and I think I finally figured it out. So I created a bunch of icons in the color scheme that I'm going with on Canva. I know I've seen people create them on Adobe Illustrator, on PixArt, and I'm sure there's lots of other ways you could do it, but I did it on Canva on my computer and then I just airdropped them to my phone. I moved all of the apps off of this first home page here so I can have a clean slate and see what I'm working with. I just have the calendar I made before and also the little photo with the word breathe on it. To get the custom apps on the screen, pull down and type in or press on shortcuts. Then click the plus button, add action, then type open app, click there, click on choose. And I'm going to start with Instagram, so I'll tap on that, then click the three dots in the corner there, and for the shortcut name, I'll write Instagram, then add to home screen, and then I'll rename this again here. I don't know why you have to rename it twice, but you do. So Instagram, and then tap on the little icon next to Instagram, and click choose photo, and these are all the icons I made earlier. So I'll tap on the Instagram one, click add, then click done, and there it is. It looks kinda cute. Basically, you just do the exact same steps for every single app you wanna add. Now let's get the rest of those apps on there. This is what my home screen is looking like now with all of the apps that I customized. So they all match pretty well. Since we created shortcuts for these apps, they're not actually the apps themselves. For example, if you tap on Disney Plus, it first takes you to the shortcuts app and then it reroutes to the actual Disney Plus app itself. So there is that second or two delay there. Since we didn't actually change the color of the apps themselves, they are still here on my phone. If I swipe over, you can still see Pinterest, Facebook, all of those. So if you don't want those right there because you already have the shortcuts to those apps on the first page, all you do is put all the apps you don't need on one page. So just drag them over onto their own page, which is what I did here. And then hold down on the screen and you'll see all these dots at the bottom which represent each of your different pages. So tap on that and then that brings you to an edit pages section and you can deselect the pages that you want to be hidden. This bottom left page here contains all the apps that I created the shortcuts for. So I'll unselect that and then press the home button. So you can see I have that page there that I customized with the pink and all the different apps and widgets. And the next page are all the other apps that I haven't done anything with yet. And then the next page is the app library. That was definitely a lot more work than I was anticipating, but I think what's fun about it is you can customize it to however you like. You can make it as creative or as simple as you want. And basically you can just do whatever you want to suit your own style. 
I'm sure there are plenty of other apps you can download to create lots of different widgets. Widgetsmith is just the one that I saw popping up the most on TikTok in the last day or two. I think the more you play around with it and practice, the easier it'll be. Let me know if you've downloaded iOS 14 yet onto your iPhone and if you've done any customizations or if there are any widgets that you're loving. This was really fun and it actually is kind of nice to open the screen and have it all aesthetically fitting together. Why not, right? It's just for fun and if you've got some time on your hands, why not give it a try? If you have any fun iOS 14 tips, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. I make videos on bullet journaling, stationery, organization, productivity. It's all here. So give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.